Hi guys, it's Monday. Uh, it's Monday afternoon. We didn't do a whole lot today. It's kind of a dreary day. It's raining. It's cold. Uh, we we did have a log sale today, and it was a bid. I mean, we we bid out logs today, and that's just something we're doing on these bigger jobs. But as most of you know, I don't do <clears throat> when I do when I do log sales. I keep all that pretty private. I don't I don't have the camera rolling for log sales or anything like that. So I, I keep all that information that goes on there kind of kind of on the down low, I guess. Uh, one of the big reasons for my clients because no one needs to. It's that's a log sales between me and my clients. That's I don't like to have that knowledge public. I don't share what goes on there. That's just between me and my clients. <clears throat> and there's some things there we don't how we sell some logs because people are all the time asking well how do you do this how do you do that and some things i'll talk about and it's not that i'm trying to be shady it's just that we do things a certain way and i feel that we achieve a better price out of our logs doing things a certain way and we keep that knowledge to ourselves uh it's like i said it's everything else i share but just my log sales i don't but today in this video, I thought we'd just answer some questions, answer some questions from uh, the YouTube channel, excuse me, answer some questions from some other things and go over a few things, just something simple. Uh, about the video I posted Saturday, it was kind of a, some people have called it a teaser video. Really what happened as soon as I got into Brandon's shop, the, the, the GoPro died. Uh, that, that truck he was working on, that wasn't my truck, that's, that's a big 4700 International. That was a lime spreader truck. So no, that's not my truck. My truck's not even here yet. So that's just to answer that question. So let's, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna open up the, uh, the app here that I use for YouTube. And let's, uh, let's go over some questions. How about that? Okay, um, first question we'll go over, go over here. It's uh, Mental Sid. Just answer that. No, that wasn't our truck that that Brandon was working on. Uh, Cat Diesel Power, uh, you comment a lot and you watch our videos, and I greatly appreciate that, sir. Uh, appreciate the positive positive words, encouragement. Uh, Bar C Logging, same. I, I love seeing your comments. I love seeing you go over everything. Oh, uh, I'm trying to see some of these comments here. Uh, Chuck, no, that wasn't my F-350 or 450. I'm getting an F-550 is what I'm getting, a new F-550. Like I said, that was a 4700 International Lime Spreader truck. Brandon does a lot of work for local people, a lot of farmers, uh, not not just me. I mean, I could just about keep him busy working on all our stuff because I'm hard on things. But, oh, uh, here's a guy asking what we get out of our walnut. <clears throat> Now, like I said, I, I don't, I don't usually like to talk prices on walnut, but I mean, we, our walnut does well. I mean, it it does it, it does well. But in the same sense, to be competitive with everyone else here in my area, I have to give a lot for walnut to get it bought. That's, I, I give a lot for walnut, and that's why we cut so much because I'm very, very, very competitive in my prices. And I'm very competitive with my markets, and I'd rather make I'd rather make a couple dollars every day as ten dollars once a month. I'll put if that makes any sense at all when it comes to pricing logs and wood. Uh, Keith Hughes, sir, I always appreciate you watching the videos and commenting. Uh, you asked if it was a different roller on top of the arch of one of our skitters. It is actually that skitter there we got out of Canada. And there's, it's a, it's probably the best running overall running skitter we have. Just everything is as tight as can be on it, in great shape. But there's a few things a gentleman, it was an older gentleman that had that skitter and he retired, and we got it from him. We bought it from him. There's just a few things on that skitter that he did, and I didn't understand the reason why. I don't like the roller setup at all. I like it to where it's, you know, the, I like the factory ones where it's kind of like a spool, you know, kind of big and small. I'm terrible at explaining things. Uh, Tony Keller. Uh, 
thank you for watching our video, sir. Uh, we, I, I do. I mean, we not just me, my dad, and my uncle as well. We, we pride ourselves on everything we do. I mean, the job we do, I, I put a, I put everything I got into it. You know, it's we pride ourselves on the job we do and how we lead the land, just how we manage the trees, just where periodically they can be harvested again. That's something we pride ourselves on. Thank you for watching the video and. Uh, <laughs> I see you're no relation to the other Keller guy. I see that. <laughs> As for the Stephen Keller, uh, yeah, I just, uh, that's all you do. <laughs> I, I don't do anything. I just film. I'm, I'm a professional photographer and cameraman. I don't work. So, there, your, your question's answered. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, snoozing Lion. My, my dad is in very good shape. He is. Uh, for, for a 72-year-old man, he's he's taken extremely good care of himself. He really has. He, he gets around good. It's, I, hope when I'm, I hope when I'm 40, I can get around as good as he is when he's 70. I just, it's, it's incredible. Kenny Masick, sir, I, I can't thank you enough for commenting and watching the videos every day. You, you've been with us, I think, from the get-go with our channel. Uh, Cody Long. The the reason <clears throat> I, I don't I don't so much count the trees. It's the tree count. It's not that it's not important, but the overall what's important to me is the footage and the dollar amount. That's what's important to me. I like to know the overall footage, what my pile of logs is. I like to know the average, and I like to know what the logs bring, average out bring per board foot. Those are things that are important to me. Now, as far as like the little clicker deal. I actually think we're going to incorporate something like that into the Timber Tracker app to where it's just one little extra feature somebody could use for tallying trees. And I've actually kind of got an idea in my head of how I want it, not just a clicker, but you'll have, well, I don't ever say too much, but I've got some ideas. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The Colonial Craftsman. As far as the how I fall the trees with the bore cut we use, you know, when it goes to now we'll use wedges sometimes we will now we don't ever cut a notch in the walnut because we don't like to waste the wood we like those stumps to be flush uh, the butt cuts to be flush no no fibers pulled don't like doing that don't like seeing it it's just i know some guys will and some guys will argue with me it doesn't matter well that that's fine if you don't i mean I, i'm not ever gonna run somebody down about how they do their work how, how someone does their work that's that's how they do their work but we've got our own ways of doing it as far as the direction, it's gravity. You just gotta, you better be good at calculating your tree lean. And like I said, there's times we'll wedge it, or if we need to push on or pull on it with a skitter, we can do that. But for the most part, it's gravity. That's that's how we decide to fall of those walnut trees and that bore cut like that. So, uh, I know a lot of the guys back east at Cut Oak will they'll argue like, well, that's not right, that's not right. Well, here's the deal. Well, let's put it like this. If I was cutting oak trees that brought a dollar, I wouldn't care either. But I'm cutting walnut trees that bring five and ten dollars, so it's different. So uh, to each their own. Like I said, I've I've got no problem with how guys do the thing. So let's go on to the next one. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? I think I'm getting back into some of the questions I, I might have answered before. I'm I'm for sure I have. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. And like I said, uh, I, I always enjoy all the questions and comments I get from you guys. I really do. And there's times I'm I'm just horrible about messaging back on YouTube. There's there's days it feels like with everything I got going on besides just the logging end of things, because I've like I said, there's Timber Tracker the app, and there's the Timber Tracker website, and we're you know the website. It's we're in the process, both the app and the website. The new the new features of the app will be out real soon, but the website will be after that. We're just we're doing a lot of things with that. And I've got a couple other irons in the fire I do outside of logging. Logging's my primary I mean it's it's my primary business. It's the primary source of income. It pays for everything else to happen. Uh, so I mean there's there's times it's hard for me to to respond with all that. So I'm sorry about not getting back to everybody's comments in a timely manner. Uh, as far as the new truck, like I said, guys, as soon as it gets here, 
we'll shoot a video. I'll tell you, I'll even shoot a video when I go pick it up at the dealership. I will. I'm just as anxious as you guys are because I'm tired of not having a work truck. I am. I hate not having a diesel truck to go to work in, have all my tools and equipment on. It, it's, it sucks going from having that truck to not. My poor 4Runner here. I'm putting so many miles on my 4Runner. Of course, there's that play toy I just bought. Like I said, I'm I'm young. Well, and I'm, I'm still kind of young, I guess. I'm 32. But... I used to have all kinds of play toys, but I just, I wanted something, you know, if, if you don't watch things, um, man, you'll, you'll get so carried away trying to make a life. You forget how to have fun. And that's kind of where I come to with that. And, you know, I've got some friends and we just, you know, we're all about the same age group together and we just, uh, I think they're gonna maybe buy some Jeeps too. Just, I mean, we're not putting a lot of money into these Jeeps. They're just play toys. I, I don't even know if we'll license them. We'll just haul them on our trailers to the rock parks around here. Just make a weekend out of it. Just something to do, you know. Just so that's a little bit about the personal life there outside of logging. But yeah, I'm I've never been married. And I don't have any kids that I know of. Uh, <laughs> so I, I still, I mean, log, logging's my life. It is logging and the business is my life, but. I still try to have fun the best I can. I, I don't I don't get as wild and crazy as I used to. I mean I like I said I, I drove Mustangs for a long time. I loved Mustangs and it's I, I'm gonna have another Mustang one of these days I am. I'm I'm gonna have another another Mustang. I absolutely love Mustangs. From the time I was a young, young little bitty kid, I always wanted Mustangs. When I can finally afford the insurance I want when I turned twenty five, I bought my first Mustang. Had it for three years, got rid of it, and bought a new California Special 5-liter Mustang. and I love them. They're great. Love Mustangs. Uh, guys, I guess that's it for today. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's it for today. And hopefully tomorrow, because I know like we're supposed to have some more weather. This crazy weather here in Missouri. Warm and tornadoes last week. Twice, I think. Now... They had snow yesterday, and there was snow today. We didn't get any snow, luckily, but it's raining, drizzly, and cold, so you just never know what the weather's going to do around here. It's crazy, but hopefully we'll have some more exciting videos this week, I hope. Uh, go back to doing that stuff, but man, guys, I can't thank you enough for following along. I really can't. Uh, like I said, you, you know my usual end of the video spiel, so... Uh, do all check us out on all those social networks, you know, Facebook, Instagram. Of course, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're already on YouTube. So uh, be sure to go over to Logger Threads. Order yourself some new shirts. Excellent, excellent, excellent high quality shirts. Absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. Do that. And I guess I'll get off here. As usual, I'm just rambling. I don't have any cool stuff to show you today. Other than this big monstrosity Jeep. But, uh, <laughs> it's not that cool, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, guys, that's it. Uh, we'll, catch you, we'll catch you tomorrow. Take it easy. See ya.